Fly from Downs, Illinois. I'm about to share with you guys a family tradition of mine during the 4th of July time, and that is making jalapeno poppers. So I'm super pumped. My dad is gonna be taking the lead on this and I'm gonna learn from him. So we're gonna have a super fun time and it's all about family during this time of year. So let's get started. All right, headed to the grocery store. We gotta get some supplies for these jalapeno peppers. They're gonna be awesome. My dad is the expert, so I'm, he's taking the lead on this and I'm just following all the instructions. So here we go. Yes, that's dad, BDB, in the house. He's driving, so I'll try not to distract him. <laughs> so BDB is new to Strava as of the last month or so. How many miles are you walking a week now? We're doing some other grocery shopping while we're here because we're gonna make poppers and they're not really the healthiest thing ever but I'm all about doing 80% healthy and maybe 20% just letting yourself live a little so that's our plan we're gonna eat some nice lean meats we're gonna have veggies salads and the little jalapeno poppers <laughs> I'm gonna pick out small ones because you gotta wrap these with bacon if they're too big Bacon won't be long enough. Yeah. So, gonna make some lady peppers. <laughs> be the sweet peppers because they're not as hot. Yeah, not as spicy. So, okay. we gotta get these little mini bell peppers. Boom. So, they're pretty big. Yeah. Might just work with what we got. We don't have a big crowd to feed, so. We'll make more sweet pepper ones. There we go. We got more ladies. Half of them, half of them. Well, my fiance doesn't like the spicy stuff. Oh, it's just me and you. So we got three ladies. <laughs> three? I'm not a lady. Well, <laughs> I'm a lady, but I'm not a lady. <laughs> All right, let's go see if they have any toothpaste. All right, cool. First quality bamboo toothpaste. We don't want these because they'll metal on the fire. Yeah, don't get the fancy ones with the plastic. Plain toothpicks. Boom. Don't get turkey bacon because you can't wrap it. You need to wrap your bacon, but you want it to be long and thin because you don't. <coughs> If you have it too thick, it's hard to wrap. Straight bacon, it's easier to wrap. And I always like to have a backup. Backup just in case. Bacon, it's not going to go bad. Someone's going to eat it. Yeah. You can't wrap it, you can eat it. <laughs> Like these Looking good. We found some pre-made jalapeno peppers. Not as good as ours are gonna be. They're sliced the wrong way. They're too big. The bacon's not covering them. Shows you the calories about though. Should we get them and do a taste? Comparison. You can if you like. <laughs> let's get, let's... We're gonna do BDB's jalapeno See, no, poppers. Not well, we're not even gonna get them. Oh, they look, they're yeah. not even wrapped well. Yeah. yeah, we don't want to waste our time spending money on things that aren't gonna be quality. It's anything yeah. worth doing, yeah. worth doing right. <laughs> we can't find the cream cheese. 
<laughs> We're searching. Butter, butter, butter. No one knows. Target acquired its own section. I want to make sure. I'm not sure you get the full fat. Because if you get the light, it just turns to water inside your pepper. It's gone. It's popper. So we're going to go with this. Like the two pack. Oh, here's oh, a. We don't need two. We don't need two. We're gonna go single. single pack. Now, we can also go with these. You want a flavor? Yeah, if you want a flavor, let's do um, the chives. I like the chive and onion. But see, it's not light, it's, it's still the heavy. And it just adds another dimension to your. Yeah. So, so we'll, we'll make a couple, and maybe even sweet ones. Sweet ones with the, oh, so they have a, yeah. The chime and a. There we go. All right. All right. Rock we got everything we need, right? Yep. Rock and roll. You heard it yourselves. One of the best parts about this recipe is that you just don't need very many items. It's like five things, and boom, something delicious. All right, time to get the seeds out of these jalapeno peppers. As you can see, my dad is wearing gloves and that's not because of the virus, but it's because you do not want to touch your eyes with jalapenos stuck on them or any of your private parts because it is very uncomfortable. And getting the seeds out of the sweet bell peppers isn't as important. So here you can see that those toothpicks are in fact being soaked because they won't burn up on the flame as bad so that's a little secret another one i was taught so we rinsed these earlier i didn't show that and i'm gonna go back and show you guys now that these peppers are rinsed out and then we're gonna put the cream cheese into the peppers you see you want to stuff it full but you don't want them to split because if they split more of that cream cheese is gonna come out on the grill so you can see full but not overstuffed. All right, so just gonna do those to all these peppers until they are fully stuffed. And then the next step is gonna be my favorite, everybody's favorite, the bacon. So you're gonna grab your bacon slices, and this is really important. You wanna um, push on that end like my dad was doing there and open it up and that that bigger slice at the end is going to cover the top where the cream cheese would come out and then you're going to want to carefully wrap it around the pepper as you can see sometimes it's a little difficult so even the pros they have to go back and fix her up real nice so just another point don't leave your bacon sitting out too long because it'll get slimy and it'll be harder to wrap so you want it to be not frozen, not super, super cold, but also you don't want it to be super, super warm, as I was told. And you can see that even this bacon not being super warm is still a little bit slimy. So then you just get your toothpick and you're gonna wanna just pop that guy into the end and then boom, all the way through. So you're gonna do this to all of them until the all right, these bad boys are about ready for the grill. You're gonna put them on maybe a medium heat. And it's really important to note that you don't wanna set them directly over the fire because that bacon fat will catch on fire quickly and you won't have enough time to get those peppers and bacon to fully cook. Whoops, drop the tools. <laughs> I have them. You gotta babysit these uh, poppers. You want to cook, you got you to cook them slow so you cook your, your pat first and your bacon. Yeah. What they look like when they're done. Mm -mm -mm. See some of your Philadelphia cream cheese runs out, but that's okay. Do as you can. Oh, way, close to the camera. It's like a volcano inside. <laughs> if you try to eat them now. So you need to let them rest. 
like a good steak, it's got to rest. <laughs> see, you can see your peppers cooked. Pepper. The meat of the pepper. guys that's all i have for you this week thanks for tuning in i hope you enjoyed this recipe i enjoyed spending that quality time with my dad and i hope everyone has a happy fourth of july i'll see you next week